Hey there, writers. Welcome to another episode of What's Wild Doing? Or What's Will Doing? So, today's episode, I am going to install a USB charger for my 2022 Can-Am Spider RT Limited Carbon Black Motorcycle. To give you a little background, I had purchased two previous rocker switches to install on this. And I found that they wouldn't work. And even though they said that they would install on the bike, they didn't go inside the place of what I wanted to use. And what I wanted to use was this blank that sits right here. In the aftermarket, you're gonna be able to find that you can get a, uh, a garage door opener that you can stick inside there and it'll attach to the bike. Um, I think it runs straight to the wires on there, so it'll open and close. But I have a uh, remote key fob for that, so I don't really need that. Uh, I had hoped to try to find a uh, rocker switch which would go inside there and would work. And unfortunately, none of the ones over on Amazon would work. At least the ones in which I purchased. I purchased two, gave up, and just went with the one in which I thought would work because I want something with an on off switch and would plug directly to the uh, the battery. Now I happen to have this and let's see Walt Square Dual Charger. You can uh, fit it right on you can see yeah there we go you can see that you can fit it on your um handlebars which I wanted to avoid because I already had two things hooked up to the handlebars and that would have been the cup holder and also the quad lock mount that I have. Now this happens to have LED light on there. We're going to go ahead and install it but first we're going to figure out how we're going to route this and I want to mount this on my handlebar. This will require, it looks like they have a Phillips screwdriver head, a PH1 on here which is real tiny which is well, I'd say probably about that size to go on there. Kind of like something you use for small tools. All right, so one of the things which we're gonna do, we're gonna need to lift up the seat here. And to do that, you know what to do. If you own a Can-Am, you uh, turn the key for lifting up for the fuel, and then you uh, pop open the seat. Now, another thing, you're going to need to remove this panel. And you can just set this up to the side here. Or someplace safe and which won't get scratched. Another thing we're going to need to do, I'm going to run it in from this handlebar here. Try to get it through the electrical cords that for the... Once I get it through there, I can run it in through here. Now, this area does not come close to touching the radiator so you really don't have to worry about your wires melting at all so having an insulation or anything like that's not going to be needed now another thing we're going to need to do here is to open up the trunk the front trunk and open up our uh to get access to our battery now our battery is housed right behind here. And you see I got the owner's manual, the way that it came in with the bike. You're gonna need a T27 bit to undo the screws for this. Screws, bolts, whatever you wanna call them. And just pull off like that. Now, as you can see, I have battery tender already hooked up, which I'm probably going to end up using for this, for the for the purpose of uh, for this, which I'm going to need to just take this off. I need to remove this. Here, remove it. 
pulling out, sliding. And you can set this off to the side. Now, as you can see, we happen to have room now. Now, one of the things in which I want to do is run that cable into here from the handlebar all the way through. But you don't have to run it into here. You can run it off to the side over here or the other side over here. Now, since we're looking at location, um, I'm gonna run it off over on the right side, considering that's where the that's where I'm gonna be installing it. Once I do install it. Alright, so I made a mistake. <laughs> um actually you're gonna to need to remove the left panel off of this bike. Now I could have gone and reshot the whole scene, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Made a mistake. Originally, I had wired up one of the wires already on the other side and ran it through so that way I could have access and to that rocker panel. But since I no longer need that wire, I just don't need to bother with that. So I don't need that side anymore. What I need is the left side. So I have hooked into here hopefully you can see it there's a little bar inside there some of the lighting isn't too good when it's showing up on camera so i ran it into there i'm going to give it some slack because well you're going to need to have it with some slack and now you're going to need to run your hands through underneath here which will be pretty easy to do i said pretty easy to do feed that wire through. But I'm just finding it easier just to run my hands through. So you don't need the wire. The wire is optional. You can use a coat hanger as well. Now, you can see, we can run this through. the air box that's what this is that actually takes the t27 as well bit in fact it's a small little cylinder this is where your uh, air filter is for your bike actually it looks like i will need to use my wire you can see things straight as possible this came in coiled up it might be a little difficult but not too <laughs> there we go now all we gotta do is hook the wire through now when you're hooking wire through it's best to run curve it around and don't let it stick out because you run the option of uh run the possibility of it coming undone so kind of Twirl it around there, like this, as you can see, and that way you can pull it out. There we go. And it's run through. And that is nice. So, we had a little bit of a situation here. Uh, it turns out that the screw that they provided inside there to hold it down is not long enough. In fact, it was just real shy. I tried uh, doing what I could to make it fit, but it wouldn't work. So it just so happened, just so happened, I happened to have um, a zinc plated uh, machine screws that are 10-32 uh, by three quarters of an inch. And I bought, had these in a pack of 10. See, there we go. And all I needed to do was use one of the machine screw and the nut. So that way I could have it at the base. 
and it just so happens it fits the existing nut that's inside there so you can leave that nut you will find that nut on here inside the packaging it'll be all the they'll move all the way down in there it might be free floating depending on how it is but um i had to use this instead um using the nut and the screw and i put the nut put this all the way down so that way i had the uh, nice little surface to connect to it would push it up it sticks out a little bit but i also had to drill into here so that way it would have like the right angle because they didn't make this thing big enough to go on uh, Can-Am Spider. They made it for like a regular motorcycle. I think the regular bars are either like uh, three quarters of an inch or uh, an inch. But that's pretty much all you have to do with that. It, yeah, sorry, it did take a little bit of a modification for that to make that work. But it is what it is, unfortunately. Yeah, I used the 3 16th drill bit in order to drill to get the rest of the part on there. So that way it would uh, be good to go. Now, they did happen to say that you can connect. Let's see if it turns out that the connection I have it to is reversed. Reverse connection. That's what it is. And that's why they give you that little part right there. <laughs> Turns out that this is actually reversed from what you use for a ten battery tender. So, I want to do it right. No, I'll leave it as is. Since I know I got the connection on, since I know that I got power running to it, and it's now charging up my phone, we're going to call this a win. Yeah, so that's pretty much all you got to do. Um, yeah, you can. Yeah, hey, cool. The switch to turning it off also uh, what can be turned off up here, so you can leave it into the battery tender and just turn it off when you're done with it, riding, or leave it on when you're not. And which is if you want to keep your phone out or in a secure location to have it charge up. But that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy making it. As always, ride safe. I'll see you in the next ride.